When I was younger, I used to like playing basketball with my friends. We would go at lunch break or snack break, and we would go, we'd play five on five or something like that. And I was pretty good at taking shots, man. I was pretty good. Like, I could shoot from about 20 feet away from the basket. This is like when I was 10, right? I, I could shoot pretty far away from the basket, and I could make it a decent amount of that time. But I also had this friend who would be able to make it from a little bit farther, who would be able to make it from 25 feet. And when we would play five on five, we're playing basketball, I would hit a jumper 20 feet away. People would be like, oh, nice shot, man. That was pretty cool. But when he shot jumper, when he made the basket from 25 feet away, people went crazy. They were like, that's insane. And they would jump on him and everything. And I would be like, man, that's not even proportional. Well, why does he get so much you know, enthusiasm when I shot a pretty good jumper and I'm not getting you know, that, that kind of energy or enthusiasm? Because like most people couldn't even make anything, right? I'm over here making a 20 foot shot and I'm only getting a fraction of the energy that he's getting. That's not really fair, right? That's not really proportional. And that's the point. Attention is not proportional and neither is success. All right, I'll tell you another story from my younger life. I used to be the friend of this popular guy and he would be able to talk to anyone. He would go and be friends with everybody and I would be his friend, right? So I would go with him. And I would notice that everybody would have fun talking to him. Everybody would find him so interesting. And me, they would say hi to me, but they wouldn't love to talk to me. You know, they would say hi, but they wouldn't have these intense conversations like they would with him. And I was like, why is that, man? Like, I'm supposed to be the guy who's going with the popular guy, right? I should be with him the whole time. I should get, you know, a decent amount of the attention and respect, right? And it's like, no. It's not true and it's something that we think but it's not really how the world works we think that success is proportional we think that second best gains half as much as first best but that's not true second best gains a tiny fraction of the recognition and respect and success that first wins if i asked you who's the fastest man alive i think we could agree that it wouldn't be too hard to figure out that it's Usain Bolt, right? But if I asked you who's the second fastest man alive, could you really answer that without searching it up on Google? Because I know I wouldn't. And I definitely can't answer who's the third fastest. I have zero clue. And I realized that this concept is not just, you know, applicable to being popular or athletics or basketball also applicable in your life because you have to realize that success is exponential so it's not just like adding every single time like you can think about it like math right if you ever taken math in school you know there's linear slopes that are just you know increasing at the same speed all the time right so linear slope would be like if you plug in one you get one if you plug in two you get two if you plug in three you get three if you plug in four you get four but an exponential would be like, if you plug in one, you get two. If you plug in two, you get four. If you plug in three, you get eight. If you plug in four, you get 16. If you plug in five, you get 32. If you plug in six, you get 64, seven, 128, right? Eight, 256. And it just grows so much faster. Each time it's growing faster and faster and faster. You have to realize that's how success works as you get closer to being the best. Your efforts are multiplied. They're not added, right? So the greatest thing that you can do in your life is not to find some quick strategy that might work for now. The best thing that you can do if you want long-term success is to actually grind. It's to actually work hard every day. And instead of reaping the rewards, instead of, you know, like just trying to enjoy what you've done so far when you haven't really accomplished much of anything. What is the best thing you can do is plug that effort and plug that thought back into making you a better person, back into making you better than you were before. And you'll find that your success grows so much faster than the people around you who thought, they, oh yeah, I've accomplished a lot. 
and they just reap their rewards. They cash in early. They don't get anything like you do. There's a concept that I've been developing in my head, and it's the idea that the ultimate sacrifice is progress. Right, I know in our daily lives, when we get into self-improvement or get into self-development, people are like, oh, the first thing you should sacrifice is your social media. The first thing you should sacrifice are video games, right? The second thing you, could sac you should sacrifice are wasting time. Like, there's always these little habits that people are telling you to sacrifice. And that's all cool. I've done everything. But once you get to a certain point, you'll realize that the thing that you actually have to sacrifice is not some quick habit. It's not this, it's progress. And I know it really makes no sense to the people who haven't gone through this journey, but you have to realize that long-term progress is built exponentially, right? At the beginning, you see nothing. In the middle, you see nothing. In the end, you see everything. That's how exponential works. But most people try to get a quick boost in the beginning. They try to get a quick hit and try to get results in the first month. They try to get results when they're first trying something. And they try these quick strategies that don't build a good foundation and instead break them down for the long term. They might win right now. They might get a little bit better than me right now. That's fine. But in the end, I will destroy them because I've decided that I'm going for the longer term success. And that's all success is, honestly, right? Success is not short term. Success is long term. That's all success is. Only long term success really matters. So why would you settle for something that's just a little bit of progress right now? Build the strong foundations first. Do the right things again and again and again because your efforts will multiply, right? They're not gonna be added. Remember the exponential function. We're not just adding two every time. It's not because, or you're not just adding one every time. It's not you plug in one, you get one. It's not you plug in two, you get two. It's not you plug in three, you get three. Instead, you plug in one, you get two. And you plug in two, you get four. You multiply by two. You plug in three, you get eight because you multiply by two. You plug in four, you get 16. You multiply by two. You plug in five, you get 32, you multiply by two. You're not adding, you're multiplying. Your efforts will be multiplied. And the longer that you can stay in, the longer that you can wait to cash in your rewards, the greater you will cash in. That's the message for today. Hope you got something from this video. Go out and conquer.